All right, we are going to talk about what a reciprocal is, which I started to write and then I had to redo because I forgot how to spell it. All right, reciprocal. So a reciprocal of a fraction means you literally just flip it. So instead of 3 sixteenths, it will be 16 thirds. Instead of 18 over 1, it'll be 1 18th. And that is going to allow us to solve equations later on. And it's also going to allow us to divide fractions. So just to give you a couple of examples, if I have the proper fraction of 2 thirteenths, I would like to know what its reciprocal is. So its reciprocal literally means that we just flip it and we get 13 halves. So what about 1 12th? What is its reciprocal? The reciprocal of 1 12th means I flip it. And so its reciprocal is 12 over 1, and I'm too lazy to write the over 1, so it just becomes 12. Um, you're going to find out all semester that math people are lazy. Okay, so what about the reciprocal of 3? Well, I need to flip it. And so remember, I can write anything over 1. So now I just flip that, so the reciprocal becomes 1 third. So now what we want to do is utilize that knowledge and we are going to use division. So just like the product is the answer to a multiplication problem, the quotient is the answer to a division problem. Okay, so if I want to find the quotient, that means please divide. So for instance, I've got 35 over 55, and I'm going to divide that by 7 thirteenths. So my first step is going to be recognizing as soon as I see division with fractions, I'm going to change two things. I'm going to change this to multiplication, and I'm going to flip the second fraction. Do not flip the first fraction. Flip the second fraction. So I'm going to change this to 35 over 55 times 13 sevenths. And now I'm back in familiar territory, so I want to see if I can reduce anything. So I'm going to write this as 35, 13, and then 55 and 7. Well, I know I can break down 35 to 7 and 5. So I'm going to do 7 times 5 times 13. 55 is 5 times 11, and then I've got my times 7. So here's my 35, here's my 13, here's my 55, and here's my 7. So any number divided by itself is 1. Any number divided by itself is 1. So I end up with an answer of in the numerator is 13, and in the denominator is 11. So for right now, I'm okay with that being an improper fraction, but as long as we're practicing, what happens if we want to make that into a mixed number? So in a mixed number, I would do 11 into 13, so the bottom number into the top number. 11 goes into 13 once, and that gives me two left over. So my answer as a mixed number would be 1 and 2 Elevenths. So remember to keep your denominator the same. And so it's just going to depend on how you're asked for the answer. So if you're asked to just report the fraction, or it might say give me a multiple or a, a mixed number, so you have to pay attention to what the instructions are. So I've got six sevenths divided by three thirty fifths. So I notice something right off the bat. I've got division. So I'm immediately going to rewrite that as multiplication, and I'm going to flip the second fraction, not the first one. So I'm using multiplication by the reciprocal. I am multiplying by the reciprocal. So I can break down 6 into 2 times 3. I can break down 35 into 7 times 5. My denominator has a 7 and a 3. So I want to see what I can reduce. Well, 3 divided by itself is 1. 7 divided by itself is 1. So that leaves me with 10 over 1. 
and I'm too lazy to write the over one, so I get an answer of 10. So let's try a couple more. We've got 36 over 17 divided by 6. So what do I notice? Immediately I see division. So I'm going to change that to multiplication by the reciprocal. So I can write anything over 1 if I need to have it in fraction form. So when I flip 6 over 1, it becomes 1 over 6. And now I've got 36, which is 6 times 6 times 1. Well, normally we don't write the times 1 unless we really need it. You're going to get sick of me saying it, but math people are lazy. That's why I don't write the over 1. It just looks more cluttered. And that's usually why I don't write times 1, because it's more cluttered. So I'm just going to kill that off. And so now I've got a 17 times 6 in my denominator. So here's my 36 times 1 isn't going to change what it is. So any number divided by itself is 1, which means my answer is 6 17ths. Okay, what happens if I've got 12 divided by 4 sevenths? And a little note, because I want to help you be successful. When you are writing fractions, I would not write them like this because I like writing them that way because it gives you a little bit more room, but it's, it's easier to mess up with. If you can see directly across the top and directly across the bottom, it's going to make life easier. And then if I write something like plus one, well, is that plus one part of the denominator or is it four sevenths plus one? So it just makes it more clear. And so, I mean, if I'm like just scribbling in my office, I'll write it like this because I'm just scribbling to myself. But whenever I write it, I'll make my fraction bar completely horizontal. And I would just recommend that you do that too, just because it helps you keep things straight. So the first thing I notice is I've got division. So I'm going to change that to multiplication times the reciprocal. So I'm going to flip my second fraction. Well, I need to go straight across the top and straight across the bottom. So I'm going to put 12 over 1. 12 can be rewritten as 3 times 4. And then my denominator is just 1 times 4. So any number divided by itself. So that gives me 21 in my numerator, which is 21 over 1. And then one last one. We've got 6 and 3 fourths. And we're going to divide that by 3 sixteenths. So immediately I'm uncomfortable because I have not done anything with mixed numbers. So let's put that into an improper fraction and then we'll be a little bit more friendly. So how do I do an improper fraction? I'm going to do four times six plus three. So four times six plus three gives me 27 over four. So I have 27 over four times, and now I'm going to change this to multiplication by the reciprocal. So 27 is 9 times 3, 16 is 4 times 4, and then I've got a 4 times a 3 across the bottom. Okay, so any number divided by itself, 3 divided by 3 is 1, 4 divided by 4 is 1, so that leaves me with 9 times 4 in my numerator, and that's over 1. So your answer for that is 36. So that is fractions part 1, and I will see you in the next section.